In this video, we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step process of creating your first dashboard within Slingshot. So if you come to my analytics and let's go to my dashboards, we're going to click add dashboard. And for this, we're gonna actually create one from scratch. So we're gonna come up here to blank. And within your all tab over here, you should see sample data. So within the sample data, we're gonna select sample data here. And basically what this is, is an Excel file that we have out on the web for anybody to kind of come in and get their feet wet with creating dashboards. These are all of the different sheets that I have within my Excel file. So let's select sales and then we'll click select data. Now from here, you are inside of our visualization editor, where all of the available fields that you have to work with in your file come up here on the left-hand side. You have all of your different chart types that you can choose from from here. And then each chart type comes with different settings. So let's start first with creating a combo chart. So we'll come to the chart picker, we'll select combo, we're going to drag over our date, but we want to use month for this into label. We will bring over new sales into chart one, and then we'll bring in new seats into chart two. Now, since this is sample data, it doesn't look the best, so I am gonna quickly just add a date filter in here so that we can make it look really nice. There we go. So now I'm gonna give this a title. Always give your chart a title. So this will be new sales versus new seats. And now I'm gonna hit the check. And just like that, with a very intuitive drag and drop experience, you have your first chart. Now we can continue to add more and more visualizations. You can also bring in visualizations from other sources. But for this, let's just still stick with our sample data here. We'll come back to sales. We'll select this data. And this time we're going to select a stacked column chart. And we are going to bring over again our month field. We're going to bring over leads. And then we want to see this categorized by product. So we're going to bring over category of product. And again, I'm just going to do an extra step here and add a date field just because sometimes sample data isn't the best and hit apply. And again, we'll give this a chart, a title. So we'll do leads by product. And then we'll hit the check again. And for the purpose of this, we're gonna now save this dashboard as leads and new seats. And there's no limit to the number of visualizations that you can continue to add in here. Uh, but for your first one, we're gonna do just two different charts here. And now we're gonna click the save up here. I'm gonna save this into just my space here. And now you can see when I go back out, I have this nice dashboard here um, within my analytics.